everyone! <clears throat> Today I'm going to do a little Throwback Thursday video. I did this before and I really enjoyed it. I did it for October. Unfortunately, <clears throat> I didn't make it in time for my November one, which I was really bummed about. But this is going to be my 2013 Throwback Thursday. I'll let you know if I still love these products. Um, I was going to, in the last one I mentioned things I liked better, but since this is a yearly favorites, I am about to put up a yearly favorites really soon. So... Obviously, some of these products will still be in there. Some of them will not. So, I guess that makes sense. Hopefully, it does. All right. So, let's just get going. I do have a list right here. So, if I keep looking down, I apologize. Don't you hate it? Do you ever lose your mouse on a computer? I do it all the time. So, here we go. First and foremost, I mentioned the Totally Twisted Hair Care line. Honestly, I still absolutely love it. I have the shampoo and the conditioner right here. These are my Holy Grail shampoo and conditioner. They smell delicious. They smell really fruity and berry and sweet, which does stay with you. I always get compliments, and in case y'all didn't know, this is like a thing. Um, guys, like, are most likely to notice your hair smell or something like that, and, like, it's a thing. Guys like it, apparently. I don't know. So if you're looking for a man, these are really good. Herbal Essence is really known for smelling good, and these definitely do. And they're so hydrating. I don't even have to use a detangler when I use it. So I really like those. I also mentioned the mousse, which is really good. I don't have it right now. Um, I wouldn't say it's super like spectacular. I think there are some other things that are a little better, but it's a drugstore mousse and it's really, really nice and it doesn't make your hair crunchy. I also mentioned the Touchably Smooth um, Anti-Frizz Cream. No, I did not. This is Touchably Smooth. This is good, but it's not as good as the Curl Cream that's totally twisted. So sorry, I messed up right there. I also mentioned the detangler, which as I've said so many times, in that video I was like, it's okay, but no, it's so good in compared to other things, and they don't make it anymore, which is really agitating. The other thing that was not totally twisted that I mentioned, I'm sorry if I'm going a little quickly, um, but this video was like 20 minutes, and I'm trying not to make it that long, and my last throwback Thursday was even longer than my original, so, you know, that doesn't really make that much sense. But this, anyway, is the John Frieda Frizzy's Dream Curls Daily Styling Spray. So it's like a spray, and it's kind of like a curl definer. It's really nice. Um, I did used to use it in the morning, and I still do, but another thing that's really great for is if you, like, fall asleep, take a little nap, and then your hair just looks doesn't look very, like, um, curly and voluptuous, and, you know, it kind of looks, like, frizzy, then you just spray some of this in, and it really kind of like zaps your curls back together and it makes it look so much nicer I really like it for that kind of like a hair revival kind of thing um if y'all are interested in seeing how I do that because I know it's kind of hard with curly hair let me know sorry my hair looks kind of flat today actually I'm not really digging the look of my hair but oh well we're gonna just go with it because that's what we got um the next thing that I mentioned was the Victoria's Secret Very Sexy Touch Perfume um, as you can see, I've probably used up about two-thirds of this bottle. Uh, excuse me, a third of this bottle. It smells so good. I just sprayed it directly on my face. It's got a sweet kind of fruity scent. Very sweet. I just really like it. It's one of my favorites still. Um, I did buy the original Very Sexy, and that smells soapy to me, and I don't like it. This is the one in the pink bottle. Very Sexy Touch. Big fan. Highly recommend it if you like a sweeter scent. The other thing um, I don't have anymore, and it's the so it's the Dior um, Soin de Cap Shell, something like that, something French. I don't speak French. It's an under eye cream. It's super expensive, so I didn't purchase it. It was ninety eight dollars, but it was amazing. I miss it all the time. If I could afford a ninety eight dollar eye cream, I would totally repurchase it. It's a flesh tone. It's thick. It's got some like luminescence, radiance. I guess is what they call it to where it really does cover up some of your under eye circles just with that cream. It's really emollient and thick, but it doesn't like, it's really easy for makeup to go over it and I just think it's so nice and it's $98 like I said, but it's great and I highly recommend it. The next thing that I mentioned was, okay, what are you doing? Was a soap, <clears throat> sorry, I got an itchy nose. That's real cute. And it is by Organics and it is the Nourishing Coconut and hibiscus creamy body wash. This smells so good. It smells straight up like you just opened a bag of the shredded super sugary confectionery coconut. That's what it smells like. It smells so good. It really lathers well. It's hydrating but not quite as hydrating as like Dove, but it smells so good. So I really like that. But I probably would like the Dove better. 
Um, this is still one of my favorites. However, I think they might have reformulated it. I know they repackaged it, but I don't know if they reformulated it. And it's the CoverGirl True Blend. So this is the old packaging. I got it on clearance last year. And I love it so much. It is by far my favorite foundation. Yeah, I'm going to say it is my favorite foundation. And I really need to try the new one. But I don't want to buy it because I still have so much of this. But this is great. It doesn't cling to my dry patches. It gives me great coverage. Um, I mentioned last year that I wanted to try the 3-in-1. I have since then, and I hate it. So definitely prefer the True Blend. Um, another thing that I forgot to mention that was my last skincare, got a little overexcited, was by Fresh. And it was the Lotus Youth Preserve Face Cream with the Super 7 Complex. That stuff is amazing. It smells like cucumbers. It's super hydrating and like plumping almost. And it's just so nice. I really enjoy it. I really miss it. I think my makeup went on better with that. It's $42, so that's a lot of money. I have a lot of face creams, but I miss it, and I would like to have some more of that, to be totally honest with you guys. All right, back to makeup. We had, I mentioned this concealer. It is by CoverGirl, and it is, uh, excuse me, it is not by CoverGirl. It is by Physicians Formula. It's Concealer 101, and it is the green one and the light one. I think you can see I've made pretty significant dips in both of these. The green one is really, really great. This brush that comes with it, it's kind of a dinky little brush. But you can use it and then you just smack, 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 and then you blend, 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 and it's just gorgeous. I will, I recommend putting this on under your foundation, but it doesn't make me turn green. I don't look like the Grinch. And I just really like it and I think it does a really great job. And it's a little bit dry, um, but it doesn't cling to my dry patches, if that makes sense. But it is kind of dry. I don't love the flesh tone, but the green is really great. Next, these are both still favorites for sure. This is the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. I have the shade Translucent. If you ever like go down and read my description box, which I hope you do because I put a lot of time into it, um, I'm wearing this all the time. It's a translucent powder. It is pretty messy. Um but it's just a translucent powder it smells like like grandma powder but it's so finely milled and it just glides over and it kind of perfects your face without adding extra coverage or powderiness it feels like um like almost like flour like you bake with really really love this stuff i'm doing a whole video of this any videos that i have that are like reviews or anything about this stuff as well as the original video anything that's relevant i will go ahead and link down below um, and this is the Revlon Age Defying Powder with DNA Advantage. I have the shade 05 Light Pale. It did come with a brush. That was terrible. It did used to have a double helix in it. As you can see, it's still there, but not very much. It's gorgeous. It's so soft and creamy and finely milled, and it just feels amazing. Ugh, this itchy nose on the skin. I really recommend you try this. It is kind of more expensive. It's like almost $11, I want to say. Get it on sale as you do with all drugstore things. But that's great. All right. Next, we have the NYC Sunny Bronzer. This you've been seeing a lot lately if you've been watching my empties videos slash products I've hit pan on. I've hit pan on this. I've been trying to use it a lot more. I don't love it. I don't hate it. It's really light almost orangey it's right there see it doesn't show up great and I just don't think it gives me the best contour sometimes I really like it but I have others I like a lot better that are more cool tone this is a little bit warm tone for me um I do want to use it up but I don't see myself repurchasing it I wouldn't consider this a favor anymore all right and last but not least is my sleek rose gold um blush I really like this it's tiny the packaging is kind of cheap and it's hard to get into. As you can see, we've made a pretty significant dent. It's like a beautiful coral with almost like a gold. It's super shimmery, almost like duochrome. Like you see that sheen? It's it's so intense. It is the blush I have on today. Um, and I don't have on a highlighter, so it's the blush highlighter. This is not, I don't, that, that, it doesn't look good on this. Let's look on this side. Um. So, I mean, it does definitely show up, but I don't think it looks like a clown. It's beautiful. Super shimmery. You definitely don't need a highlighter when you wear this. It gives you such a pretty glow. So, again, I don't know if I said this, but it's in rose gold. You, you can order this online. 
um, if you don't live in the UK, but it's gorgeous makeup and I really enjoyed that. Now let's go on to my favorite things, which is eye makeup. Um, I mentioned the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, and I do really like this stuff. I think it's really effective. It comes with a lot of Too Faced kits, so I would definitely use it. But I do have other favorites. Um, in that video, I mentioned I didn't like the e.l.f. one. But um, after using it for another year, I really enjoy the e.l.f. one, and I think it's just as good. I also really prefer to use a colored base if I can. Um, instead of just going in straight with this. Um, this is nice, but I don't know if I would pay full price. Like, it's $20. I don't think I would pay that for this um, product anymore. Next, I have Maybelline Color Tattoos. You all know these are my favorites. You all know that I want more of these. I still only have the exact same two. I have Inked and Pinked, which is this really pretty pink shade. Duh, it's like a pinky metallic shade right there really pretty um if you have the naked three palette i think it would pair so well with that i don't own that palette um but i like to use it a lot with like pinky mauvey berry shades i really enjoy that the other one i really enjoy that i've even hit pan on if you've been keeping up with my products at pan you know that is the bold gold this is great it is a little drier because i've had it for a while and it's this deep antique almost greeny gold right there it's so pretty I use it all the time under pretty much any eye look just because you can you can achieve so much with that and anything just goes over it so well these don't crease for me and I love them I would totally like the whole collection of that of those as well as I'd like the whole collection of these babies again I still only have the same two which is really sad because I really love these and I want to grow my collection of these I really love how they're packaged and I love that you can like let me explain when you turn a color tattoo on the side, because there's actually no, this is all glass, but there's actually no product in here. The only product is right here. You can't see the color. When you turn these babies on their side, you can still see the color. So it's really easy for storage. They're pressed pigment. The blue that I have on my eye today is the Endless, oops, is the Endless Sea. And then this one's Bronze Taupe. These are pressed pigments. <sighs> They're beautiful. They're so soft and creamy and buttery. Just like, look at that pigmentation. They're just, I just couldn't ask for a better shadow. I really, like I said, I really want um, all of these. The only negative that I could ever say about these is that the fallout is pretty bad, especially like with this blue one, um, because it is blue. Then you're like, oh, I just have a nice little blue like streak on my cheek, like a blue highlighter. So this one is in the C. This one is bronze taupe, so it's like a cool tone brown so 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 beautiful so soft buttery pigmented anything you could want in a shadow I feel like those offer you all righty then next is something I was really obsessed with last year and I do still really enjoy it and it is the Pacifica palette these are kind of expensive um, these are like $15 a piece so you definitely want to wait till you can get this on sale but the shadow quality is great they are really soft and really pigmented so that was really cute I should have probably planned that better oh, I hate it when I swatch there because then you can never really see so it comes with a pink a gold a purpley taupe and then like a navy they are a little powdery but there they are I really love this I think they're great quality they are all kind of like um a satiny uh, finish no mattes but Gorgeous colors, great payoff. And again, they're expensive, but if you can get them on sale, I recommend them. The other thing, I forgot how much I liked it, and I do like it, and I have used quite a bit of it, and it's the CoverGirl Liquiline Blast. It is um, great for your inner rim. It's so creamy and dark and pigmented. It's not, that's from what I was wearing today. It's this one right here. Um, I only have it in the shade brown, but it's just so dark and like, I don't really like this one, but it's so dark and it just shows up so nicely and it stays in your waterline so, so well. Um, I think they rival the Rimmel Scandalize in my opinion, but I think these might be more expensive, but they're a lot creamier, so it's up to you. But I still love those. That, this is a great mascara. It is the Too Faced, no, excuse me, the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. It's got a rubber bristle wand and it 
makes your eyelashes look like they're fake and beautiful. However, they make my eyelashes hurt and feel heavy. Also, it flakes something bad all under my um, my eyes. So as much as I really love this mascara and the way it looks, it really doesn't work with my chemistry. And I think I can get a very similar look with other things. So I love it, but it's not probably a favorite anymore. Then I just threw my lip products all over the place. That was really cute. So and then I mentioned a few lip products. First was the Sonia Kashuk Tinted Lip Balm. Um, can we just talk about how much of that I've used? Yeah, quite a bit. That makes me happy. One of the things I think is cool about this video is that you can see how much you actually use these products. So here we go. That's what I have left. And this is a tinted lip balm. But for being a tinted lip balm, it's actually got some pretty decent color payoff. It's right there. This is in the shade Hint of Pink. And I really like it. I think the applicator of this is small enough to really be easy to apply. And I think it feels great on the lips. So I highly recommend that. And then I had mentioned the CoverGirl Smoochies. Now I have two. The one I had then, you can see I used it enough to flatten it out. Because when you get it, it's not flat. I haven't used the darker one near as much. The red one is in the shade Hashtag Tweet Me. These are not near as pigmented as the Sonia Kashuk ones. But they're also a lot cheaper. And these smell like lip smackers. Here's my darker one. Um, that's in the shade Hashtag Too Cute. So I have two of these. I do really like them. But they're so big that it's like hard to put on your upper lip. All in all though, I do enjoy those. And um, I would probably like some more of those. Yeah. And last but not least are things that I haven't been using near as much as I should. And they're these e.l.f. glosses, the Hyper Shine glosses. Um, I have this beautiful watermelon shade in Pink Pop. I got this in like a trio last year. And I used to be so obsessed with them. They don't swatch well. Can you even see that? And it's right there. The, I'm not even going to swatch these because they don't swatch well. They look good on your lips. They're not opaque, but they give you enough shine. Um, so I have Pink Pop, Firecracker, and Orange Sickle, Cream Sickle. Three of them. I really like them still. I think they're a good quality gloss and they're only a dollar. So this was a long video still. These were all of my favorites for 2013. Um, like I said, I will have my 2014 video up and then you can see what of these things stayed the same, what changed, and what I've been loving this year. So I hope that's interesting for y'all. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I really like to make them, so I hope y'all like them. Um, let me know if you have any questions or comments, anything that I have that is related, as well as everything that is on my face right now, will be linked down below. So thank you so much for watching, and it means the absolute world to me, and I'll see y'all really soon. Bye!